going to talk about how you can find a suitable journal for your paper. This is an important topic and today we'll look at the different factors you should consider while matching your paper to a journal scope. Now let's look at some of the important factors to consider when you're targeting a journal. Uh, one of the first factors to look at is the type of your manuscript, whether that is acceptable to the journal. The journals publish manuscripts of different types, original articles, case studies, review articles. Then uh, you need to look at whether the journal uh, prefers a certain type of study design and whether your paper matches what uh, they expect. And then the third thing is the preferred subject areas of the journal. Now, there is one more factor which is often not uh, considered by authors, and that is the location where your research was conducted. So sometimes journals may want uh, to publish work done in certain countries or in certain contexts, like developing countries, Asian countries, and so on. And finally, we have the content-related instructions that may be supplied by the journal. By this, we mean specific advice on the statistics you need to use, the methods, the sample type, the sample size, and so on. This could vary from one journal to another. So, uh, these five factors, namely the manuscript type, the study design, the preferred subject area, the location, and finally, the content-related instructions. These five factors are important to check. So now, um, let's, uh, let's look at a few journals. Let's try to match your paper with a few journals and arrive at the one that seems most suitable. Well, to begin with, let's talk to an assumption. Suppose you have written a paper on using endoscopy for the treatment of gastric stromal tumor. And uh, this is a medical example, uh, but uh, just assume that you have written such a paper, uh, even if you're not from uh, the health sciences. So this paper, um, you would like to publish in, in a reputable journal, and you have identified five journals, um, and you would like to identify the one that is the best match. So how do you proceed with this? Uh, so first, let us look at what your article actually is. Um, the nature of the article. Uh, it is an original article and not a review article um, and not a case study and then it is also a clinical study and it is on the subject of gastroenterology and finally uh, the research, let's assume for the sake of this example, that the research was conducted in China. So these are four qualities about your article. Uh, now that we have these uh, qualities uh, ready let us try to match your paper with, uh, with the five journals that we have identified. First, we have the Journal of Gastrointestinal Surgery. Uh, this journal publishes original articles and clinical studies. There are no location specifications and uh, the content related instructions also match. So that's good so far, but uh, your study proposes a non-invasive strategy for the treatment of, uh, of gastric stromal tumor Whereas the Journal of Gastrointestinal Surgery, uh, as the name says, uh, it focuses purely on surgery. So this is a point of mismatch. Um, so let's move on to the next journal. Uh, and this is the Clinical Journal of Gastroenterology. This journal also publishes clinical studies and the preferred subject area is gastroenterology. Uh, that is good and there are no location specifications. Uh, the content related instructions also match. Uh, but there is a problem. This journal publishes only case reports and reviews, but yours is an original article. So this is a point of mismatch. So let's move on to the third journal. And this is the Canadian Journal of Gastroenterology. Uh, this journal publishes original research, uh, clinical studies, uh, subject area is a match, gastroenterology, content related instructions also match. But the journal publishes Canadian research, uh, uh, that, that's what the journal prefers, as the name says, Canadian Journal of Gastroenterology. But note that this is specific to this journal, not all journals that have a country name uh, publish work from only those countries. But in this case, it, it happens to be this way, So the Canadian Journal of Gastroenterology prefers research carried out in Canada to be reported. 
Uh, so there is a bit of a mismatch in the location uh, aspect. Now let's move on. We've got another journal, and this is a journal of pediatric gastro gastroenterology and nutrition. Uh, this journal publishes both original research and clinical studies, so that's good. And uh, the preferred subject area is a match. This journal is about uh, gastroenterology, so that's also good. And there are no location specifications, also good. But uh, there is uh, uh, something to more to look at, the content-related instructions. Now, this journal publishes research uh, done on children. Uh, as the name of the journal says, it's about uh, pediatric gastroenterology and nutrition. But uh, your research was done on adults. So this is a mismatch. Let's look at the fifth one. And this one is called Gastrointestinal Endoscopy. And this journal publishes original research, clinical studies, and uh, the subject area is a match. You, in your study, you used endoscopy, so that is also a match. And there are no location specifications, so a good match with the content-related instructions. So, everything is a match. So, we have found a good journal for your paper. That is, your paper is a good match with gastrointestinal endoscopy. So, if you follow this method, it won't be too difficult for you to choose a good journal for your paper. Well, I hope this talk was instructive. See you next time.